When Marcelo realized that Cristiano Ronaldo was leaving, he was really disappointed. He was shocked. He cried for hours because he was mourning Ronaldo's departure. These quotes from Clarice Alves, Marcelo's partner, are painful to listen to. Heartbreaking. It shows how strong the friendship was between the Brazilian and the Portuguese star. They were basically brothers. We were devastated when Cristiano Ronaldo left for Turin this summer because we are so attached to his little family. I also know his mother personally, and Georgina is an incredible woman. My son is also really good friends with Cristiano's son. My children also miss Chris's family. Him leaving has left a huge hole here in Madrid. It's true, Cristiano's departure has had a big impact on Marcelo. The Brazilian has endured a nightmarish season because of his mental state. I used to spend my whole day with Cristiano and Kiko by my side. Now I have no one. Just Gareth Bale, who only speaks English. So I say to him, hello, hi, goodbye. In watching Cristiano leave Madrid, Marcelo lost more than just a friend. He lost a part of himself. Lots of people think that May 26th, 2018 must have been one of Marcelo's happiest days. His victory in the Champions League final was so impressive. But in reality, that evening was hard to cope with for the defender. We were warming up for the final against Liverpool, and all of a sudden, Cristiano said to me, Bro, I'm leaving during the next transfer window. A hammer blow for a player who had so much admiration for Ronaldo. And to think, things got off to a rocky start between the two. In 2008, Marcelo and Ronaldo barely knew each other. During a game between Portugal and Brazil, the two players got into a fierce argument on the pitch. Ronaldo basically strangled Marcelo. But the past is the past. The two bros found themselves playing for the same team in Madrid. And from that moment on, everything changed. Some say that football is rotten to the core, that money is killing the sport. But the bromance between Marcelo and Cristiano proves that football can be magical. And the 600 miles between Madrid and Turin won't change that. The Brazilian and the Portuguese star haven't forgotten about each other either. The proof? CR7 tries to convince his friend to join Juventus every day. How great would it be if they were reunited again?